Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Nuding. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at how we can create something that's kind of like um, looking like a turtle shell. I always quite like uh, this uh, reptile. Um, it's actually very beautiful characters. Uh, I mean, creatures that you can create procedurally. Um, you can do a lot of study of shell, and you can apply it to characters. Characters like uh, maybe like a robot. Um, it's a very beautiful creature. So anyway, so let's get started. So I have an example here that I created earlier. It's not 100% perfect. There is a this some parts a little bit hacky, but um, there is a better way to do this. I know, but for now let's uh let's just take a look how I created this. A better way, of course, you probably want to use like a actual Voronoi. To create the shapes, you can do that already in Spreadshop, but I'm gonna show you something. So you start with a cylinder and then you cast it into sphere. So this is the quick and easy way to start with, even though this is slightly wrong. Okay. So cylinder and cast to sphere. This is a very convenient and you get this shape already that's looking like a little bit like shell you can rewire first of all rewire the, the so by default the cylinder is pointing up we want to we want this to point at the x or z axis yeah i think x axis is correct so file save as shell study And from here, so we have cylinder, filter rewire. If we use grid, actually we can make this a little bit tidier. Okay, something like that. And we can now do things like transform mesh or just scale it. And we can play around with the height. So it's a kind of like a turtle shell. I know uh, this is wrong, but I'm gonna show you something quite interesting. The next thing we want to do is to use remove double or merge by distance. Polygon face data, polygon out, get rid of edges. So if you remove distance, you might realize you might notice this actually looks a little bit like um, decimate. I think it's probably using the same algorithm. I'm not 100% sure, but if we use something like poke beforehand, so we poke and then we, we merge by distance, we're gonna get this triangle, triangulated mesh. If we bake it, let me let me check. Okay, face orientation is actually flipped. Okay, we need to be careful on that. Anyhow, we have a, an interesting topology here to play with. So if I, I'm gonna increase the number of mesh, first of all. So we still have this triangulated topology, which is what I want. This is actually thanks to the this merge by distance. So, so now if I if I just use fewer B mesh. Okay, this guy is flip. I, I don't like how it's flipped, so we need to be careful. So I I guess I need to flip the normal. One, two, three, connect it and flip the normal kind of work always sometimes yeah this kind of thing is unfortunate but let's see if we can dual mesh anyway so from triangulated mesh into dual mesh we're gonna start to get this something that looks a bit like Voronoi okay these edges we don't need this anymore so just 
vertices and polygon data going in and so let's find the one that's good okay that's kind of bad that's interesting but anyway despite that anomaly we're gonna continue on and here we're gonna use extrude or instead just use inset it's a faces one two three no, i'm selecting three and then tap v we get these edges again get rid of the edges so i'm doing this extrusion individual extrusion of the face so we have something that more or less like a turtle shell but it's doing it on the top and the bottom with turtle of course the bottom the bottom part has different topology and this is actually interesting so top topology and the bottom topology is more more like the skeleton skeleton of the turtle and then yeah i think we can do this in the future but for now we're just gonna leave it like this because I yeah I want to show you the trick basically triangulate it using poke and this you triangulate it with dual mesh and then you get something that's more like fake Voronoi but you might also notice that with turtle turtle is interesting it's a uh, symmetrical right we like symmetry um, so just turn on mirror Blender uh, mirror modifier is actually really powerful and very, very, very good uh, in terms of doing it really fast and efficient. So we of course want to mirror it in the, maybe in the Y axis. So this part where we have triangle, that's kind of unfortunate. this is not wet and then we can subdivide it so it's almost it's not like a muscle yet but uh, it's kind of so play around with the number maybe you got lucky and you have the, the one that's perfect without hole Maybe at some point I have to fill hole before I do the dual mesh. Hmm. Yeah, some face is flipped. Something to keep in mind. I think maybe there's a way to clean it up. So perhaps we also instead of instead of increasing the subdivisions over here, we just use subdivide. So one, two, three is there, and the vertices can go here. This polygon face pages, and we just do subdivision. to keep everything under the grid so this seems to be tidier one, two, three. this is one process yeah it's tidier so increasing decreasing and we have fractal here as well that will kind of create what we want and we can scale it's turtle like shell but uh, it's a good start so if you want to do it with pro uh, with proper Voronoi um, Voronoi 3D 
you can do that as well. Um, but you have to worry about the points inside uh, the shell inside the the 3D mesh. Okay, this is some part is not perfect, but I think it's a good start. It's a imperfect shell. Let's call it like a turtle shell. So I'm gonna do a little bit more study. Hopefully, we get something that's more perfect. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.